What if you were talking about something like maybe this bottle and you didn't want to have to hold it in your hand and you wanted it to just kind of float right, right here and spin in 3D. Or maybe you wanted to swap out this photo right here with another photo or a video. Can you do that in CapCut? Well, yeah, let's, let's do it. CapCut has new masking features that are nearly pro level to allow us to do what I just showed you. If you don't know what masking is, I've got a video on it linked below where I cover masking in more detail, but let me just give you a brief overview of masking before we cover the brand new features in CapCut. Let's go ahead and import the footage right now. I'm gonna jump over to this free folder here and it's called free because I'm giving you all of these elements right here so that you can follow along. So I suggest you download these elements now and it's gonna make it much easier to learn what I'm going to teach you. Plus, I use a sound effect on this that's in my 100 free sound effects that I gave away a while ago. If you don't have my 100 free sound effects, there's a link for that as well below. So you probably want to download those as well. They're super, super useful. And yes, you can use them anywhere you want. Masking allows you to cut out a portion of video to reveal what's underneath it. For example, if I have this video of me talking and I want to show this iceberg right here under me, I'd put me over it like this, put the iceberg underneath, drag them both down so they're on the same track. And if I select just this top layer and I jump over here to video mask, I have all these masks. To use a mask, you now have to hit this add mask button and it gives you the option to select different kinds of masks. So in our case, just for this quick example, I'm going to choose split and it reveals what's underneath it. And you'll notice that it's black here because this playhead is parked on black. But if I go like this, like, oh, there's that iceberg underneath it. It masked it. And you can change the shape and do other things like this star, heart, all this other junk. But the new stuff is what's really cool. These guys we're going to cover right now. Now, let me first show you how to use the new pen tool in CapCut. That allows us to create other shapes than the ones that they have included right here. And if you have something that's a little bit irregular, like this frame that's not at a perfect angle, we would use the pen tool. So to cut out this frame, I'll position my playhead about where I want, where I start talking about, like right here. And I will cut this right here so I don't apply a mask here. I don't want the mask here until I'm starting to talk about it. So I'm going to hit Command B to add a cut right here. So I'm going to apply the mask just to this section. I'm going to hit Shift Z so that I fill up the time line with my video clip here. And then I'm going to click on add mask and select the pen tool. And I'm going to cut this out. Now it's a little rough down here and kind of messy. So one thing you can do is zoom in by clicking on this zoom button and you go like this and just zoom in a little bit. And this little box tells us what we're zoomed in and we're zoomed in on the center. Now, because I've got masking selected, um, it's not let me do that. So I'm going to go over here to basic and just click on this guy and drag it down. Now I can see this frame better so I can cut it out more precisely. And I'm showing you that stuff because this is stuff that is going to help you. You're going to try to cut it out in that tiny little space and it's going to be really hard. So we're just going to go over here and click on mask again. And we already have this pen mask. So I'm going to click on this guy and I'm just going to cut it out. I'm going to click right here. Where I want to start drawing this. Click down here. Now that's relatively easy because we're cutting out something that's straight lines. But what you can also do if you're cutting out something that has rounded edges, you can add Bezier curves. So if you clicked and wanted to add a point right here and you wanted it to curve, you while you're clicking and holding it, you drag it. And look at that. I can make a circle out of this stuff and cut it out like that. So that does give you more control for cutting out things besides simple picture frame. Just going to undo that. And I'm going to click over here. You have to play with it because it's kind of funky to use, but it works just like it would in Premiere or Photoshop or any other program. And I'll click here and close this off. And now it's like, oh wait, I don't want to cut the background out. I want to cut this out. So what you do is you hit this invert button right here and bam, we can see that it did cut it out pretty nicely. Now we can see the line, so we can't see exactly what it's going to look like. So to get rid of the line, I'm just going to click here anywhere. And I can see, yeah, that cut that pretty nicely. Now to see something under it, we just have to drag something under it. Now right now we have a video track available. If we did we would have to raise this up a level so we could see what's underneath it. But I'm going to just click on this and drag it down here. And I'm leaving this like this. And I'm showing you the apparent mistake because this will happen to you. It's like, I want it here. Why did it go over there? That's because I have the track magnet on. I'm going to turn the track magnet off, which is this guy here. We can type the letter P. I can drag this over here. And now we can see the iceberg under there. But you'll notice that uh, the iceberg is not exactly filling this little picture frame here. So what we're going to do is click on this little magnifying glass and click on the line here. And that'll take us right to full frame there. And now we can see the line around the iceberg that it's not exactly in the right spot. So I can move it around or I can scale it and rotate it. It's going to click and drag it, put it about where I want it to go. And I'll rotate it with this and put it in here and scale it down a little more. And you know, it's just an iceberg and you can't tell that it's, you know, slightly distorted relative to the frame. So it looks, it looks pretty great. So we can just go like this and bam, as long as I'm talking, you see the photo in that frame and it, it looks pretty good. Now it doesn't look perfect because so far CapCut doesn't allow us to skew and adjust 
perspective or do anything in 3D space. Basic 3D is coming pretty soon because it is a very requested feature. If all this stuff is a little bit confusing and you're a kind of beginner editor, I've created a course called Edit with Trev and Master CapCut where I teach you everything that CapCut does in like four or five hours. So you can literally become pretty proficient at CapCut in a couple days if you just do all of the assignments in the course. If you want to check it out, you can click the link on one of these sides. I never know what side it's on, but it's got a 100% money back guarantee. If it's like too complicated or too easy or you don't like it for any reason, I'll just give you all your money back within 30 days. So check it out. It's a new year as I'm recording this and it's time to level yourself up, man. The spinning bottle thing is slightly more complex. I'm going to drag the spinning bottle that I filmed for you and put it on the timeline right here so we can tweak it without the other stuff in the way. Now you can see all I did is put a bottle on top of a tripod and I just manually spun it with my head as smoothly as I could. There are options you get for like 10 bucks that have like mechanized ones with batteries. You can just put something in the middle, it'll spin, you know, anything. It's going to make it a lot easier. This is kind of a pain. The key to making this work well is you want to make sure that the subject is evenly lit, that it's separated from the background and a different color than whatever's down here. If this was the same color, I would just put a sheet of green paper over it or something so it didn't get confused. But that will make it much easier to cut it out with the masking feature. And here's how you do it. To cut this out with CapCut's new masking brush tool, we make sure the clip is highlighted in the timeline. We go to video mask, we click add mask, and we select the brush, which gives us this brush. We can adjust the brush size if we want, and right there's about good. And then we just have to select this by clicking and dragging and getting it, you know, roughly what we want. I wanna make sure I get this white stuff because the white is gonna be different than the blue. And we wanna tell it that's what we want. And let's see how it does. Bam, it cut it out pretty well, and now it's thinking about it. And while it's thinking, and I go through and see if it missed anything. And it looks like it did a pretty good job or is doing a pretty good job. If you missed anything, you know, sometimes if you have a different color, it's not going to notice. You're going to go to that section. Actually, it did a great job. First take. And you can see like, for example, right here, there's a little section that it missed. So what I can do is click on this brush tool. This is to erase. This is to select a little more. And I'm going to make the brush size a little smaller and see if it does it. You got to be careful because now if I go out here, it's going to select some of that background. So this fine stuff's going to be a little bit rough, but this is how you how you fix stuff that wasn't perfect the first time. And now if we look at this, we've got a pretty great kind of professional 3D looking thing. And all we have left to do is just put it where we want in the video. And let's see. So right here, I'm going whoop, um, yeah, right there. I'm pointing to it. Let's see what I'm saying. See if that's the right spot. And you want it to just kind of float. So I snap my fingers. I'm zooming in so I can get right past the snap. I'm going to put that over the snap and I want to start with that there and to scale it it's like oh no I can't scale it you can't scale it because you're on the mask tab you have to go back to the basic tab and then we can scale it down and put it exactly where we want it just like that still too big these guys and scale it down as well and bam I can have that guy I'm gonna turn my audio off because I don't care I just want to see it and then bam and you get those lines like oh no those lines are wrong you just got to click off of the clip anywhere else in the timeline the lines go in you can have a good look at it and bam, that thing pops up and spins. And then when I stop talking about it, I could maybe make it fade out. So I'm going to end it right there. How do I add an edit and delete the rest of this stuff? I hit the letter W, bam, there we go. Now that goes away. Now to make it more fun, have these things come in more fun, we can add an animation here. So to do that, we click on this clip and we go to animation and we go to in. We want this to come in kind of fun. How about, I don't know, unfold, Let's see what that looks like. That's kind of cool. Do that and boom. And we want it to leave somewhere around here. To do that, we want to go to animation and choose an out. A way for this to leave the screen that looks cool. And there's one that's called gold something that's kind of cool. Boom, it'll disappear like that. Now that took a long time to disappear. I want it to disappear more quickly. So to do that, I just make sure this is highlighted, make sure I'm on out, have that one selected. And I just drag that back a little bit so it goes a lot faster like this. Like, vroom. And I probably want that to happen even sooner because we're talking about that other stuff. So I'm just going to do it again. It didn't take it with me when I shortened it. So I'm just going to click on gold again and change the duration to something more manageable like that. And we can see that it comes in like that and it comes out like that. And here we're just going to listen to see what I say just to make sure I do this right. Another photo or a video or a video. I said a video there. How do you get a video in there? Is that possible? Yes. Let's end the iceberg here. And let's grab this sailing video right here. We're just gonna drop it underneath and same thing. I'm just showing you again so you can see how you do it with the video. It's exactly the same as with a photo. Um, we can see that it's full screen here. We just drag it, pull it over here, rotate it around and scale it down a bunch. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you just got a hole that's gotta fit in right there. So bam, make it as straight as it can be and boom. So we've got photo right here with another photo or a video. Can you do 
and we probably don't want the sound going on. So we'll just use that section of the video. And I'm going to get rid of the rest of this by typing what letter? The letter W, bam, that went away. And now it looks like this here with another photo or a video. Can you do that? Bam, that's great. What could you do to plus it up a little more? We could add a couple sound effects maybe. We're just gonna jump over into audio and go into sound effects and we're gonna type laser. Here's one that sounds okay. So I'm gonna drag this guy down here. So when that comes on, it's got a laser beam. We're just gonna use the first little sound there. And I just look at the waveforms. By the way, you probably know this, but I can change the track height now to make it taller so I can see the sound effects better, see the, the audio better. So we have this coming on, just kind of float. Right, so that works. And then there's another sound effect called laser machine gun or something. And I'm just gonna drag that guy right here. So when that thing leaves, then we'll turn the volume down a little bit. Then in 3D, or maybe you wanted to. So that works pretty well there. And then we just need a couple more sound effects here and we're done. And what we're gonna do is import a couple sound effects that I gave you in that 100 free sound effects. Haven't downloaded yet, go ahead and download it. I'm just gonna go to import and I've got that under music, sound effects. You can see how I'm down, uh, how I'm organized. Uh, 100 free sound effects and there's one called called Crystal Tink. So here we go, Tink 1. I love that one, I use that all the time. I use that in Hollywood, I use it in videos a lot still. It's the good little Tink sound effect. I'll put one there and one here, and I'm gonna lower the volume on them a little bit because they're too loud by just clicking and dragging this guy. And it looks like this. Photo right here with another photo or a video. If I drag this guy, it'll fade out. And I'm just showing you this, you get kind of little little tips and tricks to make your editing easier. So you're not just getting a masking tutorial, you're getting, you know, you got almost a full CapCo tutorial here. Right here with another photo or a video. And let's see how this section looks. Kind of float right, right here and spin in 3D. Or maybe you wanted to swap out this photo right here with another photo or a video. Come on, that's pretty great, right? To get a full handle on masking, you wanna watch this video right here, right now.